So here's the question. Can I have an alternative email address associated with my Gmail account so I can give that alternative email address to other people and still get the emails in my Gmail account? I'm going to show you the answer to that question in this video, but before I do, hit the subscribe and notify button. It's the only payment I want. So, alternative email addresses. My email address on this account is burrisconsulting at gmail.com. Now, I went over to another account and I sent an email message to an alternative email address that showed up right here. Testing alternative email addresses in Gmail. And look right here. Here's who he sent the email to. Teddy Burris at burrisconsulting.com sent an email to Burris Consulting plus subscriptions at gmail.com. And it showed up in the email address for right here, Burris Consulting at gmail.com. And the reason that works is because Google Gmail has a feature where you can put your email address, the Burris Consulting, and then put the plus in anything after the plus. I don't believe you should have spaces in there, but anything after the plus at gmail.com. And the messages show up. Now, I'm gonna do another test. Give me a second. I'm gonna do another scenario and see what happens when I go to a Google Workplace account. I'm gonna do Compose. I'm gonna send an email address to TL Burris plus subscriptions. at burrisconsulting.com. And I'm going to do testing alternative email addresses. Hi, Teddy. I'm going to hit send. So that message went. Now let me go to that email account. Let me set this up. And in the inbox, I'm going to hit refresh. And there it is. So here's what happened. Burris Consulting at Gmail sent an email message to TL Burris plus subscriptions at the Google Workplace domain, burrisconsulting.com, and it showed up right here in this email address, TL Burris at teddyburris.com, which by the way, Burris Consulting and Teddy Burris are interchangeable the way I have my domain set up. So it showed up that way. The neat thing about it is that could take this email address right here, get a hold of that, copy it and I can go over here and I can say filter messages like this and I can say messages that are sent to this let me try that real quick let's get rid of this I'm gonna create a filter and I'm gonna say star it and I'm gonna hit create filter now I'm gonna send another email message in here using that same alternative email let me set that up so I'm gonna send an email to TL Burris at plus subscriptions, testing filters, and I'm gonna hit send. Now let's go see what happened. There it is, and it's starred. So I can filter messages that come into the alternative email address so that I can I can flag them. By the way, I don't have to just filter them. I can use all of I don't have to just flag I'll star them. I can use any filter functionality. I can filter them and put them in a different label. I can filter them and forward them to someone else. If I have that set up for forwarding, there's all kinds of different ways I can use those alternative email addresses. Again, where the alternative email address in this context is the email address plus subscriptions or whatever term you want after the plus at the email address. Now I have one more way of showing you alternative email addresses. Let me go to my domain manage this organization, go to users, go to Teddy Burris, and here's where I can create alternative email addresses. So in the domain administrator of a Google Workplace domain, this is not relevant to Gmail, this is only relevant to Google Workplace, I can create alternative email addresses. You can have up to 30 alternative email addresses. Now I've got T.L. Burris uh, with one S falling off. I've got Teddy. I've also got a star. And what the star means is any email that comes into my domain will go to be delivered to me. Any email that's not deliverable 
will go to me. I also put Lee, and I can put any other email address I want at teddyburris.com, up to 30 of these alternative email addresses, and they will all show up in my email inbox or wherever I put them based on filtering. Again, this is a Google Workplace functionality. This is not a Gmail functionality. Furthermore, as I said earlier, if you look at my domain, I have two domains associated with my account. I have the teddyburris.com, which is the primary domain, which I can't change the primary domain. But I also have Burris Consulting, which is an alias to teddyburris.com. So I had to set that up uh, not only in the DNS, but I also to set, add it to this account. I got it verified. And now any emails that come to me uh, in any way, tlburris at teddyburris.com or tlburris at burrisconsulting.com, again, will all be delivered to my inbox. And by the way, that applies to anybody else in my domain. If Rebecca gets an email message to rlburris at teddyburris.com or rlburris at burrisconsulting.com, the alternative email or alias domain, she gets those in her inbox. So there's lots of ways to do alternative email addresses. In Gmail, you can use the plus in any word before the at Gmail. And you can use the plus and any word before the at uh, Google Workplace domain as well. And as a domain administrator, you can set up an alias domain as well as you can set up alternative email addresses for each user. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workplace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. And I hope this is helpful for you. Thank <laughs> you.